Okay, so like I've said a couple of times, you do not have to memorize the formula for either the differential equation or the actual population growth equation. You just need to be able to identify the carrying capacity for both of them. All right, so number three, identify the carrying capacity for the logistic differential equation, dp dt equals one-half p minus one over 50 p squared. So on this one, we're given the differential equation. Well, if you're given the differential equation, then it has to be in that form that I gave you on the first page of this notes of dp dt equals little k p times one minus p over big K. And when it's in this form right here, then your carrying capacity is this big K right here. But the differential equation that we were given is not in that form. Well, to get a 1 inside this parenthesis, I would need to factor a 1 half P out. So all I need to do is rewrite this differential equation in that form. So if I factor 1 half P out of that differential equation, then I'm left with 1 minus 1 over 25p, or p over 25. And that's okay if you didn't get there quite as fast as I did, but you just have to think about what do I have to multiply 1 half p by to get 1 50th p squared. So it would be p over 25. So now that it's in this form, my carrying capacity is the number that's under p. So my carrying capacity is 25. But you just have to make sure that you've got in this parenthesis 1 minus p and then over a number, and that number is the carrying capacity. All right, number four is a little bit different. Find the carrying capacity for the population that's modeled by p of t equals 2,500 over 1 plus 24e to the negative 0.4t. Okay, this time we're given the actual population equation. So we're not given the differential equation, we're given the actual population equation. And remember that when you're given the actual population equation, if you'll look back on the last page of the notes, that the limit as t approaches infinity of p of t represents the carrying capacity. So I just need to find the limit as t approaches infinity of p of t. And we, like we did on the last page of the notes, I think it's helpful to rewrite these negative exponents as fractions. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2,500 over 1 plus 24 over e to the positive 0.4t. So if I take the limit as t approaches infinity, if I'm looking at this little part down here, 0.4 times infinity is still infinity, so e to the infinity power is infinity. So 24 over infinity is going to approach 0, so I'm just left with 2,500 divided by 1, which is 2,500. So the carrying capacity is 2,500. So to find the carrying capacity from the differential equation, you need to put it into this form where in parentheses you have 1 minus p over 25 when you're asked to find the carrying capacity of the actual population equation, you want to take the limit as t approaches infinity. And that makes complete sense because the carrying capacity is the population as time goes on and on and on or as time approaches infinity. All right, and then one other thing on number four is what was the initial population? Well, the initial population is at time equals zero. So I would be trying to find p of 0. So p of 0 just means that I'm plugging a 0 in for t. So 2,500 over 1 plus 24 times e to the 0 power. Well, anything to the 0 power is 1. So I have 2,500 divided by 1 plus 24, or 25, and that equals 100. So that's just kind of a review problem, even back from Algebra 2, but um, I just kind of wanted to throw that in.